Happy Thanksgiving, St. Richard's Episcopal Church community. I'm Allison Harity, the rector here at St. Richard's Episcopal Church in Winter Park, Florida. This is your E! News for Thanksgiving Day, November 25th, 2021. This Sunday, November 28th, is the first Sunday of Advent, and it marks the new year of the, on the church calendar. We will light the first candle of hope on the Advent wreath at all of our services, and Harry Carverston will be leading Taze at the 5 p.m. time. Sunday, December 12th at the 5 p.m. service, we will be holding our Blue Christmas service. We've run that for a couple of years now. So if you find yourself wanting to remember loved ones who have died a little extra this holiday season, or if you find yourself self still grieving the loss of a loved one, please come. This service is super comforting. Cindy Bohr and Janice Elsheimer will again this year provide the music. The Justice Committee is launching its new book club, Holly Mandelkern, who has been a friend of the St. Richard's Episcopal Church community for some time now, wrote a book called Beneath White Stars, Holocaust Profiles in Poetry. Holly will be leading the discussion of her own book in January. You can see the link in the e-news to register for the book club that begins January 12th on Zoom. And you can pick up a copy of Holly's book in the church office for $20. Also, in the e-news and the Sunday Bulletin, you will find the Christmas flower dedication form. It's the tr tradition at St. Richard's Episcopal Church to give money for special flowers that will adorn the altar on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day and include a dedication, uh, a dedication either to someone who has died or a dedication of thanksgiving to someone who is alive or uh, your church community or your family and friends. And those dedications will appear in the service bulletin on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season. I give uh, so much thanks for this community and uh, each and every one of you every day.